Alright, going hot, guys. Ready? Yep. Alright, fire the hole. Fuck yes. Dude, it's in one fucking piece. Fire in the hole. We still have a shotgun. You guys ready? Yep. Alright. Fire in the hole. Clear. Nope. No, it's still fine. That's pretty good. If we shoot, if we shoot that other one, and it makes it, I'll be very happy. Are right, you guys ready? Fire in the hole. So, yeah, everything looks fine for the most part. Um, the trunnion is totally fine. The the uh, bushing, I think, is okay. Here, I'll take that. Um, So everything's still intact, um, and we're gonna go up top and uh, do some some uh, tear down and see how it's doing. Um, but everything looks fine. I think it'd probably keep going if I didn't annoy my landlord. <laughs> so <laughs> um, yeah, that's it for now. All right. So here's all the shells. Um, this is the Federal Tactical, the Brennicky Ko Slug, the Nobel Sport Double Lot, and the uh, Magnum. The three inch Magnum, Remington Express, uh, number four buck. Um, so the, the test went really well. Um, I did get a little bit of, of, uh, of fouling in the T, which I think is probably just because I have that hole, um, which is in my test <laughs> uh, bushing, but really shouldn't be there. The uh, epoxy and internal pipe held up well. Um, so that's good. The barrel is totally fine. Um, there's no, there's no bulging or anything. Um, the, the, the housing is, the T housing is entirely fine. Um, you know, aside from, from that fouling, which I'm going to blame on, on my bushing. Um, that's all totally fine. Um, let me show you my, oops, my test rig for my firing pin here so they didn't really have a good so here's the stock um, and the firing pin is just sitting in a dowel here let me see if I can yeah there you go it's in a dowel um, that I drilled out a little bit so this is good for one firing Per, so you gotta like remove the stock to, to screw this thing in. Um, in the future, I was thinking if you have a ramrod, you could use that to cock the thing. That's a little, I mean it works, it's a little janky, but it works. Um, but uh, yeah, that that's a, a nice easy way to get moving on this test. Um, 
So yeah, everything turned out okay. All of the, the primers um, blew out in, into the T housing. Um, so I think I need to shrink my firing pin. <laughs> I had to pry that one out with pliers. Um, that, that's the Nobel Sport. There's a the Brennicky slug. Um, this was the hardest one to get out. Um, I had to I had to pry this out with pliers and grab a hold of it and yank it out. Um, just use just use a, a ramrod. It'll it'll be a lot easier. Um, that's what I did with this one. I just pushed it out. Um, but yeah, that's the three inch Magnum. Um, that had some pep behind it, didn't it? So yeah, that's uh, the first test of the Liberator 12K. I'm gonna say it worked. Um, I passed with flying colors pretty much. It, uh, you know, I need to reduce the, the firing pin diameter. Um, I'm at a quarter inch rod right now. I need to go down to probably an eighth. Um, so I'll have to figure out a way to get a smaller pipe in there, epoxy it in there, and retest with that. But I think that'll probably be okay too. I might, I don't know, I'm a little tempted to, to put, to put, um, to nest them a little bit. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll mess around and see. What I can do if I'm just drilling an eighth inch hole, I could probably um, my my options might open up a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. You don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. Also, we have still small swords to use. I will not bow before the iron crown, nor cast my own small golden scepter down. J.R.R. R. Tolkien